Right, hello everyone and welcome to my channel, welcome back if you've been before and um, welcome to my new video. So this week's restoration video is going to be a Dinky Toys Abling Barford Diesel Roller and that's number 279. So sit back and enjoy the video and see how I got on. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So this is a Dinky Toys Aveling Barford Diesel Roller, number 279. And, uh, it's got all the engine doors, so that's not too bad. Um, the hook is broken off the back, so I'm going to do something about that. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I've got an idea. Um, so it seems to be pretty much all there. The windows sliding windows are gone each side. Don't know if I can make something up for that. I've had a look and I don't think you can get them. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything on eBay. This roof, plastic roof. Again, I don't know if you can get them. But I might try and build that up with filler. Not ideal, but it might do till I can find one. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much all there. The stickers on the front, I haven't seen any of those on eBay. I've got the ones for the side, for the side of the uh, roller. I'm not sure whether these were painted. When you look on the internet, they look as if they've been painted, but I think I might try just polishing them up first. So that's uh, that's it really. It's the case of undoing it now. So we'll get on with that. Okay, see you in a minute.
Ah, well. Not too sure I'm going to get those out. Oh, I see, it's just a roll pin. Okay. Obviously, they just pull off, but easier said than done. Hmm. Okay, so I had to um, cut the axle in the end because it's well jammed into the wheel. So I'm going to have to follow that off level and drill it out very, very gently and carefully so I don't go off centre. Okay, so I'll get on with that. Okay, drill this bit. drill on the floor start to come off that's it steering wheel don't want to lose that it's a little part of the let's take the roof off the steering wheel is all part of the fix to the glass bit stuck in my shite. Okay. Alright. Now yeah, it's a plastic man. Well, I'm going to have to get him out, so I'm going to have to drill his, his backside. Poor bugger. Poor old Edley. Off him. Right. Right. And these, where's my little tiny screwdriver? Just do these very gently. Don't want to snap them. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. One. Thing like that. Gently. There. That's him out. And usually there. Just this now. Find the end off the old Dremel. Okay, so these wheels, I couldn't get the axle out as well until you jammed in, so I've, I decided to cut it off. So I filed the ends down of the axle that was still in there, and I've got I got one of these, um, the end off a pop rivet. Which on the other one, look, it fits inside this hole inside the old axle. So that is going to be my new axle when I put it on. And what I've done, these pieces of the pop rivet, see, I'll put that there. 
so when I put it back it'll go see that it'll go in like that and then the same for that one obviously I'll put this in that way like that and then I'll only it's tight so I'm not going to put it on now because I won't get it off again but I'll cut the axle a bit shorter than that and then I'll put that back on I'll just push that back on and that should be all right then so that's how I'm gonna do that one now the front wheels was another pain in the ass. this is the pin I pulled out it was solid in there I've had to use loads of WD and soak it and um, the only way I could sort of pull it out to keep doing it and this twisted and it's all rusty and knackered anyway so that's going to be scrap and then same thing again another one of these pop rivet pieces and that's going to be my new axle so it's going to be fine that that's going to be perfect I'll just pin down the end after it's gone through I'll cut it to, to the right length and then I'll just pin down the end so that's going to be how I'm going to get over that one because this is fine this is this is a little bit no it's pretty it's a little bit loose but no looser than what it was you know before so that's fine that's happy days that's how we're going to do that okay so that's everything stripped now where's my for my fairy liquid washing machine so many pots everywhere so this is my washing machine pot so I'm going to put some fairy liquid in here and uh, all these pieces plastic pieces all that can go in there man so I'll put that to soak for 24 hours or so in there with some fairy liquid and water so that's what we're going to do oh the plastic base as well I need to put that in that soak and then all the rest um, We'll put that in caustic soda. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute with the caustic soda. Okay, so put some more water. In the caustic soda. on the shelf and I'll put all the parts in Okay. Should be enough. Don't want to waste it. away nicely. Leave it a few minutes. Oh, 
and it's nice and shiny. a bit longer right so the roof part is broken as I said before and what I was wondering I got this piece of plastic out of um, you know it's one of these Stanley like boxes where you put your screws and stuff in which I've got a few of those boxes and I haven't used all divides because I've got a lot of corgi and dinky tractors in these boxes so I've got these divides so what I might do is bend this plastic to the shape of the roof and remake a roof piece I think that's what I'll try and do with that and then the doors that go on on here on the cab or window, sliding window, well it's a door isn't it, it? but what I might do with that is I've got this piece of plastic from one of those you know you make your own key rings you put your photograph in and you put this in to clip the photograph in so it goes a bit thicker in the middle but I reckon I could cut out two pieces of that to make a sliding you know the sliding door on this so that's what I'm going to have a go at doing and um, this is all this is how it's come out the caustic soda so it's it's come out well most of the paints come off there's very little left a few sort of slight stains of orange left but I'll give that a good wire brush and wire wool and um, that should come up all right but I'm going to do these windows first and then uh, the wheels, I'm just going to see, I'm going to try and polish them up first, see how they come up. If they do come up shiny with that, I'm not going to try and paint them, I'll just polish them. Okay, doke, so that's, that's where we're at at the moment, so I'm going to try and make those pieces. Right, so I've managed to cut some doors out of this piece of plastic, that's what's left of the plastic. And uh, I've cut these out. I've had to make some little handles out of the paper clip because obviously um, the way the, the model is actually done you know the plastic is moulded into a handle so I've made these little handles and um, what I put them so they go right through so that when it's actually on the, the roller there um, it'll stop the doors actually sliding right out I might have to put something when I make the roof as well just as to, to double make sure that it doesn't that they don't slide out okay so that's that's where I'm at at the moment so I've got those made up and then I'm gonna I've, I've bent this over this bit of plastic over now so that fits tight it tight over the roof so I've just got to cut it now to the right the right length down I think you know that that should be all right there that. that should that should do I hope I can get it so that it'll do okay 
So I'm going to finish making that and then we'll have a look, see if it's worked out. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've cut out the shape of the roof out of that plastic. I've got the little windows in just to dry them. Um, I've taken that, the little handles I made out for the minute. Um, but I've just got to yeah, sand some bits, just sand it down the edges of the roof a little bit just to make it a bit more refined and then um, put a little sort of rivet or something in, in the middle of it to go through that hole there so that it locates in the right place and then that's it that'll be fine with that and then I'll have to paint, paint obviously paint the roof now the original one was grey was grey like that so I don't know, the ones I've seen like in photos on eBay and that are black so I don't know what colour to paint it just yet I'll have to decide on that one do a bit more research so anyway once I've got that all fitting completely properly um, then I'll wire brush and wire wool the model and then spray the primer on ok so I'll see you in a bit ok so I've cleaned all that up caustic soda did its job cleaned that up wire brushed it all um, so now I'm going to go and prime it Right, I'm going to polish these wheels up now with a bit of Otisol. I've got me Dremel. So uh, I don't want to paint them, I want to polish them. Because they look tacky if you paint them, I find. Okay, so have a bash at that. I tried it a little bit before by hand there, it looks not too bad. Actually, I've got too much polish here, I'll put some for the other wheels. It'll go everywhere. <laughs> right. That's better. the old bit for the polishing wheel around tiny fibers Put a bit more in this one
and it's starting to come up quite nice. It's going to take a few goes I think, but anyway, you get the gist of it, that's what I'm going to do. You know, they're not too bad there. Coming up pretty well. Just those awkward little bits there. In there, it's not so easy to do. But I'll persevere and then hopefully get them all nice and polished up. Okay, so I better leave the polishing bit there because otherwise you'll see nothing else of the video, it'll be too long. So, I'll come back when it's all done, when they're all nice and shining, and you see how they turned out. Okay, so see you in a minute. Okay, so I've polished these up, they've, they've come up quite nice and shiny. See, the other two. And that's taken me sort of a good half, three quarters of an hour. So what's happening now is that I'm I'm having a coffee break look and uh, to stop my stomach rumbling I'm having some biscuits as well with my coffee and I'll tell you what oh, oh, la. they're bloody good eh these biscuits mmm cheers in another four or five hours, it'll be something a bit stronger than my coffee. That's here in a bit. Right, so I've primed up the uh, roller. Those bits. And uh, the cap. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Ah. So, um, I've made a bit of a tow hook on the back of that. It's not that great. But uh, I've made it up out of the same plastic as the, I've made the roof out of. So, better than nothing. <laughs> so that's the base. I'll just have to paint that with matte black. Yeah, so that's all ready now for the uh, colour, the orange and the yellow. So I'm going to go out and do that now. I've just um, sprayed the roof I made. I've done it in that colour, it's not far off the originals. Not quite right, but that's the closest colour I could find. So been to town this morning and bought a few paints, so um, I'll probably have to give this another couple of coats, but anyway. So that's that. Put that up there. That's it. So I'm gonna go out and spray the colours on that now. Catch you in a minute. Right, I've sprayed that yellow and that's sort of one coat um, but like a lot of people I have trouble with getting the yellow to cover properly and um, what I do now something I sort of found out by accident and um, it seemed to do the trick was if I get, give that a coat of lacquer now and then leave it dry for half an hour or so and then spray another coat of yellow over the top of that it covers a lot better because I find if you keep spraying yellow over yellow all the time 
the same thin spots seem to come through again as thin spots. The paint seems to sort of disappear off the, you know, the little highlighted areas like around that windscreen thing and that, you know, there's those little sort of, how do you say, like window frame kind of thing. And, um, you know, it, it's, when you spray the yellow over yellow, it seems to stay thin in the same places. So I found, you know, with a bit of um, lacquer on it first, or after your first coat of yellow, and then give it another coat of yellow over the lacquer, it really covers well. And then obviously lacquer it again after that when the yellow's dry. But that's what I've been doing, and that seems to work for me. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. But that, that does seem to work for me, so that's what I do now. Okay, so that's just sort of... Uh, a little tip that I found out that I thought, you know, people might like to try. Okay, so I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so got all the pieces here. Um, so I've got the cab, so put the windows in. This has been in the pledge treatment. Okay, so put that to one side. Better put the driver back, eh, before we do anything else. Okay, so I'll put a bit of little dab of, oh god. I'll get me super glue ready and I'll put a little dab of that on it. Or perhaps I should just put it on his arse. Put a little dab on his ass. Oh, come on. Hey. That's going to be one of those days. Okay. Little dab on his ass. Okay, then quite a big dab on his ass. Leave that for a little bit. Um, okay, got the steering wheel in. So, okay, put that on the back before the windows. Yeah, because they should slide in from the back before I put the roof on. Right. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the back. Actually, I'll put it on there, on there. I'll put a little bit maybe on there. Just a little bit. A bit on there. That's it. Oh, I didn't think it was going to go on then. Tight fit. Right, now these doors that I've made. I'll put them in the pledge, but I don't think I should have done because the type of plastic, it hasn't really... Uh, done them any favours, I think it would have been better just leaving them, just leaving them polished.
<laughs> Stay boy. Trying to get him to stay there now. Go on, here you go. That's it. Now. <laughs> They're not going to stay. Stay. No. They're not going to stay. Oh, hell. Stay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'll have to put them back on again in a minute. Right, put some other sticks like shh. But oh yeah, it's stuck like shit. All right, it's gone hard already in my. Well, there's a bit on the screwdriver now. Be enough. We need to clean my screwdriver. Okay. Okay. Right. Need to put my doors back. Windows, doors, well, they got to be doors, and they put my roof, my homemade roof. Boom. Hopefully, that's going to hold the doors from falling off. Hopefully. Oh yeah, it's going to hold them from opening as well. Come on. Oh no. Oh, that's why. This one open, yeah. Let's make sure it's level. Jubbly. Okay, so that's that bit done. Right. Uh, fingerprints. Right, I'll put these back. I'll take it there, both the same. Yeah, both the same. Oh, they don't want to go in, these things. Right, that one's in.
Well, this one. Oh. Okay. That one. Now for sorting out my bit of my cock up the other day. Well, not cock up. I was just I couldn't get the uh, wheels off the back, so I had to cut the axle. So I need to make sure this is the right length. So I was going to, because I've cut the axle and it was, the old axle was like a rope and it was thicker. I put these two pieces of pop rivet and uh, well, <laughs> anyway that, that will go on like that. On that in there so that will tighten it up so I just need to nip a bit off the end of that. I don't want to nip a bit too much off the end of that. Hopefully that's not too much. No. See. A bit tight. <laughs> What I might do is just put a blob of super glue just there to hold these things there. Like I think it'd be better if those didn't turn. Just the wheels turned inside. I know the uh, base plate's going to hold that on, isn't it? Okay, um, can put the base plate on now, I suppose. I better just check. I want to rivet in there, so I just check that I've got a 
the right length rivet. Right, okay, I've got me a rivet. So uh, I'm going to put the base on. So I'll put a little bit of glue around this one first. I've got my base here with this hook I made or repaired. Wasn't that that great, but. Um, it does and it looks not too bad at all so right that's in there Spiky tool, bread or whatever you call them. Right, that's that bit. So, all we got left to do now is these front wheels. Got an easy air. Okay, so I need to make an axle for that. I was going to use a rivet, but then I've got this stuff here that you know to make axles so I might make a new one altogether. But I'm gonna just have a mess around for a minute and see if I can pin this over. Okay so I'll see you in a minute. Okay so um, my idea was what I was gonna do. I was gonna put this punch in my Emma drill to pin over an axle but it don't fit in my drill we would have to have the end cut off so that's tough and metal so I'm not going to bother and um, I'm just going to go back to using this pop rivet uh, shaft as an axle so what I'll do I'm just going to glue that end in I'll pin the end that end a little bit so it's tight going through the frame but then I'll just put a bit of super glue on this end here just to hold it in there so I don't want to risk knackering my paint up so I'll do that good old super glue what would we do without it God only knows This side, a little bit maybe. There. Okay. So I'll just. Leave the glue, 
glue dry a little bit and then I'll um, put the transfers on. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these, cut around these transfers. Just move that over there a bit. Okay, get rid of this rubbish. Well, I don't know what happened there, my camera went off, but anyway, I've got this one on, but the corners came off, so I managed to sort of put it in, but it's got a slight angle on it, but anyway. It is. Okay, there she is then. All finished. And uh, oh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out. I think it doesn't look bad at all. Cool. We'll uh, give a reminder to ourselves of what it was like in a minute, and I'll put it on the turntable, and uh, we'll see the difference between then and now. Okay, so here she is, just arrived on the old building site, the old Bedford there, I like those old Bedfords, I drove one of those as well when I first started driving in the haulage, and, um, that's when I painted, I painted up the cab about a year ago I suppose, and the back was broken so I've just repaired the back, but that hinge, that hinge here was broken. I quickly repaired that, but the paint doesn't match, so I've got to paint the back properly when I've got time. There's my old dumper that I said I would clean up, which I've just given a good polish, so I'm going to leave that original. And then there's our baby that we've just done. The only thing I haven't done, I haven't got, is the sticker that goes on the front it's like a red background with a horse white horse on it so I'll have to look out for one of those but no all in all I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out and I'm quite pleased with my roof I made out of a bit of old plastic and these sliding doors so that's cool okay we'll stick it on the turntable so thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it, this video and um, if you did and you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel and keep the comments coming and advice, um, I've learnt a lot of things so far, yeah so that's cool so I'll see you in the next video, bye bye for now.